We just got the okay to stop wearing them, but with COVID cases up in every state, will masks make a mandatory return this summer? The videos out of Western Europe are heartbreaking, and now search crews are racing to prevent more deaths from flash flooding. Plus, it's a case we've been asking about every day. Tonight, police continue their search for a missing Dane County woman as her son sits in jail accused of killing his father. This is News 3 Now at 5. Thanks for staying with us at 5, everyone. It is a trend worrying doctors. COVID cases are rising in every state, and the health risks are growing for people who have not received a COVID vaccine. The sharp rise in cases is causing some areas to reissue mask mandates. Just today, Los Angeles County put mandates back in place regardless of vaccination status. Austin, Texas did the same last week. And nearby Chicago issued travel restrictions on unvaccinated people coming from Missouri and Arkansas. Arkansas, two states, seen an outbreak of cases involving the Delta variant. But how likely are these restrictions to return to Dane County? Talil Mohadeen asked local health experts about this possibility. Talil? 15 counties in the state of Wisconsin, including Dane, are still working through high levels of positive coronavirus cases, many caused by the Delta variant. This news actually affects everyone, vaccine or not. Well, I think we should be prepared to go back to a place where everyone will be wearing masks again, regardless of vaccination status. Prepared, but not a guarantee, according to UW's Dr. Nasya Safda. Still, she says a return of an area mask mandate is possible. These decisions can may often need to be made quickly because you know you get 10 cases a day and that doesn't mean 20 the next day, it means 100 the next day because of the way the virus multiplies. The state's Department of Health Services says there's a clear trajectory with new cases. It's likely, based on what we've seen on the, the small sample of specimens that we have sequenced, that the Delta variant, if not already, is going to be attributable uh, to, or most new cases, the majority of new cases are going to be attributable to the, the Delta variant. They say the virus is continually mutating and adapting because of pockets of vulnerability, areas with a smaller population of vaccinated people. When cases are circulating around you and the case count is going up, then vaccine becomes one of those things that is still the linchpin of protection, but it's no longer the sole thing. And even with Delta, you know, it's, it's highly effective, but it's not as effective as with the wild type. So the difference between, you know, 80% plus with Delta versus the 90% plus with the other, it turns into significant numbers of pe people when uh, you translate it to the population. However, Dr. Safdar says we do have one advantage in our fight against the virus. We aren't starting from zero. There are these platforms for vaccines that can be easily modified to attack whatever variant is circulating. So in the future, I expect that that would be the case. We reached out to Dane County Public Health for information about a possible return of a mask mandate. They were unavailable for an interview, but in a statement to News 3, they did stress the importance of getting vaccinated. Talil, thank you. The Madison School District hopes to share its new pandemic safety protocols. Next month, the district plans to fully return to in-person learning this fall. Schools kept their mask rules in place this spring, even after Dane County did away with its mandate. School officials have a lot to consider as they try to get students back into the classroom. Eight states have new laws that say public schools cannot require students to get a COVID vaccine or prove that they are vaccinated. Only 30% of 12 to 17 year olds have been vaccinated in the country. Researchers in England are trying to better understand long haulers COVID symptoms. They're working on a simple blood test to determine if people suffer from them. It's estimated one in 20 people who had the virus do. Lucy Adams is 44. She says she feels twice her age after catching COVID last year. I've been ill for eight. <laughs> I look fine on the outside, but obviously there's still a problem. Um, I've been off work for almost a year. Even though millions are dealing with lingering COVID symptoms, there is currently no test to diagnose long COVID. You can read all about the increase in COVID cases and the research being done on the virus through our mobile app. It's free and available on your phone or tablet's app store. 
Search and rescue operations are taking place right now in Western Europe. Hundreds of people are missing or trapped in their homes because of flooding. Look at this massive sinkhole that formed as a result of all of that water. Several people in a town in northern Germany died after their homes collapsed into the ground beneath them. More than 100 people have died as a result of the flooding in Germany and Belgium. Tens of thousands of homes are damaged and power remains offline for the majority of this region. Record amounts of rain swept across the region this week. Scientists say the amount of rain that fell over 48 hours was double what normally would have fallen for the entire month of July. Let's get a look now at your certified most accurate forecast. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti out on the weather patio on this Friday evening. Well, while uh, Western Europe has uh, massive flooding, our weather is going to stay dry for pretty much the next week and a half for many of us. As we look at visible cloud track, you can see how the clouds have cleared out and the air has dried out as well. So the rain has pretty much stayed to our south and east. A few showers and thunderstorms well to our west are not moving in our direction. Low temperatures this morning because of the drier air dropped into the upper 50s to the lower 60s here in Madison. 59 was the overnight low temperature. Right now, temperatures are near their high for the day, right around 80 degrees, give or take a degree or two. Dew point temperatures, though, are in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Those numbers will continue to drop. So by tomorrow morning, we'll be down to about 56 in Madison. Look for a sunny and pleasantly warm day tomorrow with a high of 81. The humidity levels will come back next week, but the rain chances, at least for the time being, will stay away. I'll we'll have more in the forecast in just a few minutes. All right, Gary, thank you. We'll see you then. Nine days since Krista Halderson was reported missing, and there is still no no confirmed sign of her. We asked the Dane County Sheriff's Office and medical medical examiner if they made any progress on identifying the human remains police found two days ago. We're told updates are not likely tonight. Halderson's husband, Bart, has been found. Part of his body was hidden near Cottage Grove. The couple's son, Chandler, reported them missing last week. He has since been arrested and charged yesterday for Bart's murder. Tonight, Chandler remains in the Dane County Jail, held on a million dollars cash bail. We got a better understanding of the police investigation yesterday through reading the 14-page complaint against Chandler. It details his twisting story to police, interviews with witnesses, and an apparent attempt by Chandler to tell police the whole story. We have an in-depth look at the case on our website right now. Head to channel3000.com. The man convicted of killing an Iowa college student is asking for a new trial after new evidence is in the uh, emerged in the case. Christian Rivera was scheduled to be sentenced yesterday in the 2018 murder of 20-year-old Molly Tibbetts. Rivera claims he was kidnapped and framed for the murder. His attorneys say two more witnesses have come forward saying that someone else admitted to Molly's death. The Urban League is known for doing great work to help people in the community. And today, a major announcement to help business owners of color. Jamie Perez shares their exciting news. Several organizations worked together with Urban League to announce $700,000 in new grants to help business owners of color succeed. The Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation and the Department of Workforce Development teamed up to make this happen. With the inequities and disparities business owners of color face, this will help close that gap so that everyone with the dream of owning a business can successfully do so. Incredibly hard to be able to have an access to capital, to be able to um, have the support that you need. So something like this not only creates that access to capital, but it also creates and continues to create the network of support that we need to have in order for businesses to be able to get the technical assistance that they need. A lot of this work will be happening in a new building called The Hub. They built it with components that are culturally relevant to communities of color. It's expected to be fully built on Park Street by 2022. Coming up tonight at 6, we're going to hear from people directly impacted by this about how this is making their dreams a reality. Jamie, a Dane County organization that helps at-risk and homeless kids and young adults is celebrating 50 years of service, but the people who run Briar Patch say they have a lot of work ahead. They serve around 3,000 people every year with their programs, but that's been a challenge during the pandemic. What we learned was that, um, you know, engagement of our youth is doesn't necessarily mean an infrastructure or building. During our virtual spaces, we were able to uh, navigate um, making those connections. 
Briarpatch will be hosting three events in the fall to commemorate their fifth anniversary, an open house in September, a youth arts festival the next month, and an anniversary party in November. Many businesses are working to fill open positions, including several bus companies in the state. With the first day of school coming quickly, school bus companies are scrambling to fill positions. Lamer's Bus Service near Green Bay is one of many companies holding open houses for applicants. They say anyone can learn to drive a school bus. If you want to do it full time, there are some basic requirements for most companies. New drivers must pass a background check. They have to be at least 21 years old with a good driving record. Four years experience behind the wheel is also required, but it doesn't have to be a large vehicle. The man overseeing Wisconsin's Agricultural Department is showing his support of local fairs. Randy Romaneski stopped by the Lafayette County Fair today. It runs through the weekend and features stock car racing, a combine demo derby, and school bus races. You can also stop by the animal barns and exhibit halls to check out all the 4-H projects. And be sure to check out the Dane County Fair is taking place in Madison at the Alliant Energy Center this weekend. We put together a special visitor's guide this week. You can find it on our website, channel3000.com. It'll be a weekend, of, a weekend of honoring selfless service in Madison as hundreds of people meet to better the lives of American veterans, their families, and our military. Plus, it's got the makings of a Hallmark movie. Watch the post-pandemic proposal taking place today in the city of love. But first, a down day on Wall Street. The Dow Industrial is losing 299 points. The NASDAQ was off 115. The S&P 500 down 32. We'll be right back. Until November, Black Friday in July is here at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 60% off the best mattress brands. Plus, pay as little as $20 a month for luxury mattresses. Black Friday mattress deals are here only at Ashley Home Store. It took us years to find the perfect bun for Culver's Pretzel House Pub Burger. It's got the nice pretzel flavor on the outside, but when you open it up, it's light and airy. It's got a nice sweet flavor to it. It literally melts in your mouth. This bun is perfect for a Pretzel House Pub Burger. Seared fresh beef, tangy mustard bistro sauce, pickled red onions, two slices of bacon, served with our signature cheddar cheese sauce. This bun was made for this burger. This is perfect. I think it's an awesome burger. Welcome to Delicious. Fry Construction is celebrating 26 years of providing excellence in home improvements. We strive to exceed the expectations of our clients with each and every project we do. Respected by so many of your neighbors and voted best of Madison, Fry Construction delivers lasting quality for your home. In honor of our 26 years, we are offering 26% off gutters or insulation with any full roofing project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. Here at TSR, we transform old, cracked concrete floors into beautiful, tough floors in just one day. Hi, I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings, and here at TSR, we don't just simply coat over your old concrete. We grind it down, repair it, apply the base coat and chip, and then seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. All of our coatings are covered by our exclusive lifetime warranty, so you can rest assured that your beautiful new floor will last. Our awesome team is here to answer all of your questions before and after the installation. And right now, we are offering 15% off your new floor coating until the end of the year. Visit the website or call that number below for your new floor today. One day floor. Call 1-800-886-8411. Don't wait until November. Black Friday in July is now at Ashley Home Store. Find in-stock doorbusters at discounts of up to 60% off. Plus, take a bonus 20% off our sale prices and a bonus 5% off clearance and smart buys. Only at Ashley Home Store. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll check out a special car show happening today benefiting local veterans. And area organizations are teaming up to help business owners of color succeed. We'll share the latest effort with you tonight on News 3 Now at 6. News 3 Now's call for action gets answers when you can't. A COVID patient's care jeopardized by insurance denials. After we contacted Aetna, the company reversed course. News 3 Now's call for action. Taking action for you. 
Welcome back, everyone. The remains of a missing airman will return to his hometown of Evansville tonight. Edward Miller went missing in action for almost 70 years. He went missing after crashing into a remote mountain range during a blizzard in Alaska. His remains were flown to Milwaukee this afternoon. A military convoy will take place in about an hour to escort his remains back home. Governor Evers has ordered flags in Wisconsin fly at half staff this weekend in Miller's honor. We're sharing more about his life of service tonight on News 3 at 10. Madison is the place to be to salute veterans this weekend. Hundreds of them are expected at the American Legion Convention. Brad Hamilton shows us what to expect from the convention's first gathering since the pandemic. All weekend long, the American Legion will be gathering right here behind me at the Madison Marriott West Conference Center, all in an effort to celebrate another year of achievement for the group. The National American Legion Auxiliary, along with the Sons of the American Legion, come together every year to put on this event. Specifically, this weekend is used as an opportunity to recognize and advocate for the area's veterans. It has been more than a year and a half since Wisconsin's department has been able to gather due to the pandemic, which only emphasizes the importance of this opportunity for the president of the National American Legion Auxiliary, Nicole Clapp. We're here for a greater cause than just ourselves. And so we encourage anyone in the Madison area that has an interest to please stop out and have an opportunity to see patriotism and Americanism at its finest. That was Brad Hamilton reporting. We are getting our first look at what Team USA will be wearing during, during the Olympic opening and closing ceremonies. Ralph Lauren designed the outfits. They feature more red than normal, and that is a nod to the host country, Japan. Designers also changed the function of the clothing, accounting for Japan's hot and humid climate. Cooling technology was sewn right into the jackets. Push this button. I feel the air conditioner or the fan in my back, and I can feel actually the breeze, so I know it's working. Ralph Lauren has outfitted Team USA for the opening and closing ceremonies since 2008. Because of the pandemic this year, the company also created navy cotton masks for the athletes to wear with a tiny American flag on the side. Well, people are able to visit the Eiffel Tower again. It reopened today after an eight-month shutdown due to the pandemic. This was the longest closure since World War II. You could hear people cheering from the plaza surrounding the tower moments before it officially reopened. Masks are required for anyone over 11 years of age. A couple from Germany will always remember today's reopening. Eric and Kaitla Keicha were among some of the first visitors today. They got engaged at the top of the deck this morning. I'm happy. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I don't know. It's speechless. <laughs> I can't say anything. Eric says this was a bucket list trip for Katja, and the city will always hold a special place in their hearts. Even more so now. Let's get a look at your certified most accurate weather. Meteorologist Gary Canalti has your forecast. Gary. Well, I had yesterday off after the severe weather that we had on, on Wednesday night. Now uh, it's like Mother Nature has flipped the switch. We're just the opposite of where we were in the early part of this week. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Warm weather will be here for tomorrow and Sunday with high temperatures in the low to mid 80s and then very warm with high temperatures in the middle 80s for most of next week. The humidity levels will also start to come up as we head into Monday and last through all of next week into next weekend as well. And as far as the rain chances, well, very slim. Uh, right now, little or no precipitation expected all the way through at least the first half of next weekend. And uh, the best chances for any precipitation will be Tuesday and Friday. And right now, just a very slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Doppler track shows Wisconsin in the clear. Still a few showers to our south and to our east. And then a couple of showers and thunderstorms up in the Dakotas, but those aren't heading in our direction. The uh, rain that we had earlier this week, many areas north of Madison to uh, the Fox Valley picked up two to four inches of rain, quite a bit of flooding in uh, some areas in the Fox Valley. Also an area of heavy rain along with the uh, tornadoes that occurred in parts of northeastern Iowa. But much of the area picked up a good one to two inches of rain, not enough to break the drought, but enough to kind of keep us on an even keel where we are. So as we look at precipitation over the next nine days, this takes us through 
uh, 12 a.m. Sunday morning of next weekend. You can see how little precipitation is expected, and I keep saying this over and over again, but th at this time of year, we should see about an inch to an inch and a half of rain during that time period. So this will just make the drought worse. And in fact, the U.S. Drought Monitor, as of July 13th, still has us in a moderate drought over much of southern Wisconsin, uh, severe to extreme drought conditions over the southeastern portion of the state in northeastern Illinois, a little bit of improvement out to the west, but still a moderate to severe drought over much of northern and central Iowa. And we widen out the picture, and it continues bad out west. Of large area of exceptional drought conditions and the uh, forecast from the U.S. Drought uh, Monitor Service shows that much of this area will continue to expand and the drought will get worse and areas that aren't seeing drought conditions may start to see them develop over the next uh, couple of months as the conditions are expected to stay dry. In fact, the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook calls for above normal temperatures through our part of the Midwest and below normal precipitation from Madison westward. And the longer range outlook, this is for the month of August, calling for above normal temperatures again in the same area and the area that needs the rain most out to the west below normal precipitation expected. So that's uh, nothing changes there. The rain moving off to the southeast. Notice how the air is dried out now. It's warm, but the humidity levels are down and that will keep us dry for the time being. So for tomorrow, look for skies to be mostly sunny. It'll be pleasantly warm, high temperature at 81. The humidity levels should stay down. And as we look at the seven to 10 day forecast, again, very little rain in the forecast. The slight chance on Tuesday afternoon and evening, maybe again Friday, the better chances for rain and even that still a chance would be from Sunday into Monday of the following week. Those temperatures stay in the middle 80s through most of that time period. As we check out first warrant traffic, um, on a Friday we're seeing some delays on the Beltline, this time in the westbound direction more so, and then also some delays on I-3990 heading northbound from the Beltline interchange and southbound from the I-94 interchange. Uh, right now travel time's a little elevated, 24 minute commute on the westbound Beltline from the interstate back to University Avenue. Heading out of Madison down to the south, no problem from the Beltline down to Janesville, uh, Middleton to Sauk City on US-12, and from downtown to Sun Prairie on East Washington Avenue and US 151, both 16-minute trips. That's your News 3 Now First One Traffic. Gary, thank you. They are saving money and saving lives. A part-time job has some teens making $30 an hour. The perks of working poolside during a lifeguard shortage next at 5. News 3 Now First One Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. As you remodel, don't toss your cabinets and appliances. Donate to Habitat Restore. Give your items a second life while proceeds build Habitat for Humanity homes. Donate today. Habitat Restore Dane County. Don't you wish you could wave a magic wand and have whiter teeth? Well, you can, but it's not magic. It's power swabs. Just swab your teeth for five minutes and boom, whiter teeth and a better smile. And since you're not dealing with messy trays or awkward strips, you're less vulnerable to the harsh sensitivity they sometimes create. I've used strips. They seem to really hurt my teeth. The power swabs, it just seemed very gentle. It's so simple and easy. You just open it, you apply it to your teeth, you forget it's there. And I notice that they're white and bright again like they were before. I know there's actually a difference the first time that I use power swabs. You put on the first coat and then the activator goes on and immediately you start seeing it working. It only takes five minute applications to get a brighter, whiter smile with power swabs. You just snap, swab, and smile. Power swabs have been clinically studied to whiten natural teeth and remove stains from caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so powerful, it removes stains from coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. I love my coffee in the morning. I will never stop drinking coffee. Coffee. I will not be the person drinking hot coffee with a straw. As much coffee as I drink, I can use my power swabs and eliminate the staining. When I use the power swabs, I applied it directly to my front tooth where the coffee stain was. I like being able to individually get the teeth, and most importantly, it got kind of in between the grooves. You can put it directly on the stain that you see on your teeth, and it's so precise. But as powerful as it is, it's also gentle and causes zero to minimal sensitivity. It just didn't sting, it didn't burn, it didn't have an aftertaste. It was just a swab and I just got to rub it around my teeth and that was it. Take it for me as someone who has gone the dental route but has also gone on the shelf route and I've not really seen anything work as effective and as easy as power swabs. Whiten your teeth today by ordering power swabs and receive 40% off the regular price. Shipping is free plus you receive a free quick stick pen to use on the go after meals or a cup of coffee. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen.
Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Here's the thing. When you create a network as a local, you know the dead spots, so you fix them. You know the neighbors, so you're good to them. Did you drop these? You know the strongest signal comes from starting local and staying loyal, no matter how much you grow. The nationwide network built from your town up. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. No trade-in required or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. From Wausau to Milwaukee to Madison, pools and beaches across the state are dealing with a lifeguard, lifeguard shortage. It's a problem that we've actually been reporting on for months, and it's one that stretches beyond the Wisconsin border. But as Bradley Blackburn found out, help may be on the way. Melanie Arevalo is just one class away from protecting the pool. I want to be set and like just ready and prepared. She signed up for certification at Lifeguard Training New York because lifeguards are pulling in higher wages. If you're 16, it's pretty good. <laughs> Across the country, lifeguard pay is going up due to a major shortage. The lack of guards has even kept some pools closed this summer. You guys have been running classes nonstop. Nonstop. Four. Three, but head two, instructor Nikki Berg one. says certification classes here are now filled, and the pay raise is why many are diving in to the seasonal job. It's going up from $17 to $25, and we just actually posted about a job. $30 in the Hamptons, a day camp. Like, hello. It's not just New York. Massachusetts is offering state lifeguards a $500 bonus, and in Texas, wages are up 30%. This school has trained nearly 2,000 lifeguards in eight different states this year, and they say nearly all of them have found jobs. Scott Benson is back in the pool, the 41-year-old dad lifeguarded in college. I can't even remember what, the, what they paid then. I bet it wasn't $20 an hour. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Keep going, keep going. Many keep going. of these trainees already have work lined up once they pass the test. It will be Attila Naret's first job. I really like helping people. Go. And it helps that it's never paid better. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, Rockville Center, New York. You only need to be 15 years old to serve as a lifeguard in Wisconsin. The state lowered the age four years ago in order to address a similar shortage. We'll have a final check of your first Warren forecast when we come back. Erectile dysfunction for men of all ages has become much more common. In fact, most men don't realize that 90% of erectile dysfunction is a direct result of broken down old blood vessels. This causes a lack of blood flow that is critical when achieving an erection. With our state-of-the-art technology, we're able to stimulate new stem cell growth right in our office with no pills, no needles, no surgery, and no pain. To book your consultation and get back to natural functionality, call Peak Performance for Men today. Menards has everything you need to give your bathroom a fresh, updated look. Check out our great selection of Dakota vanities. They feature generous interior storage in a variety of styles and finishes to choose from. Right now, save with 11% off on all Dakota vanities. Update your bathroom with Delta. Delta showers have smooth wall surfaces that are mildew resistant and easy to clean. Get 11% off all Delta showers and start your next project today. Save big You're a hard worker. Provide for your family. Do good things in the community. Help out your neighbors. You've been there for so many others. Now, we're here for you. Your local Wisconsin Energy and Emergency Assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your heat and power on. Apply now for a hand up. You've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but you still need to see your dentist because getting good dental care is important to your overall health. You know dental bills can take a big bite out of your budget, especially if you're retired or on Medicare. Even a simple cleaning can cost $200. 
and other procedures like crowns and root canals can cost hundreds, even thousands more. But affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company can help. Give us a call or go online for this free information kit with all the details. This isn't just a discount plan. This is real dental insurance that can help pay for over 350 covered procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. There are no deductibles, no annual maximum, and you can see any dentist you like. So don't wait. Call now or go online for your free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. What do you think? I love it. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, America faces a pandemic of the unvaccinated as the Delta variant leads to new outbreaks across all 50 states. Plus a new Titanic discovery. Guess what explorers found on the ocean floor while looking at the historic wreck. And we go on the road how a park bench therapist is lending an ear to those in need of advice and comfort. That's all tonight here on the CBS Evening News. And we have some breaking news. A crash is causing major delays in Columbia County. All lanes in both directions on I-39 are blocked near Portage. Our photographer is about five miles from the site of the crash, and you can see how backed up things are. We'll have another update on this crash tonight at 6. And Gary, you have the traffic map pulled up? Yeah, let's uh, let's go to our traffic graphic, and you can see uh, right now it looks like I-3990 is closed, uh, or I-39 I closed from uh, just north of the I-9094 interchange up to uh, the first portage exit and you can see delays on northbound i-3990 94 about maybe five to uh, ten miles in uh, advance of that accident yeah, avoid that area right all right gary thank you thanks for watching everybody we'll see you back here at six o'clock